Developers need the complete history of their code to fully understand how it works and the design decisions that went into creating it. Having the complete history available on demand and at the method level would make this information more accessible to developers. But how can this be done when the version control system only tracks line level changes? Hi, I'm Nick, a PhD student in the Software Practices Lab at the University of British Columbia, and I'm presenting Code Shovel, an on-demand tool for robustly extracting method level histories. Code Shovel is the brainchild of Felix and was part of his master's work in collaboration with Scheifel, who's currently a postdoc, Braxton, who has just started his own master's, and Reed, who supervised the work. Let's start by looking at how Code Shovel would help during a code review. So here we can see a pull request that's been opened on the JUnit4 project, and Mark is going to review the pull request. So Mark might begin by looking at the diff, and he can see that a method has changed, and he wonders if there are any prior changes to the method that might be relevant. So Mark switches to Code Shovel and first specifies the method. Then Code Shovel analyzes the code on the fly to find all the changes to this method. And so now Mark can see every single change that happened to the method between the current commit and its introduction back in 2007, even across common code transformations. For instance, Mark can see places where the body has changed and where the signature has changed. He can also see where the method has been moved between files and even when the method was renamed. So using this information, Mark can choose the commits that are most relevant for evaluating the pull request. Now let's look at how Code Shovel works. So Code Shovel iterates backwards through history from the current commit, searching for all changes until it finds the introducing commit. Now this would be easy were it not for the kinds of complex changes developers make to their systems. For instance, method signatures can be changed through renaming or by changes to return type, parameters, or exceptions. Methods can be moved around within a file or moved to a different file. A file containing the method could be moved or renamed. A method's body can be changed in major and minor ways. And any number of these could happen in combination in a single commit. So how is Code Shovel able to follow the method under such extensive changes? Well, Code Shovel analyzes each diff using four heuristics that aim to track methods between commits even as they've undergone common code transformations. For a given diff, Code Shovel first parses the file to extract all of the method signatures in the file and then uses text based similarities to examine method bodies. Let's walk through some of the commits made to the method in the pull request to get a sense for how these heuristics work. Many commits to a class file do not actually change the method, which is the case here. So the first heuristic Code Shovel uses is to look for exact matches within the class file, indicating that a method has not changed. So here the 100% similarity threshold uh, is obvious, uh, but we'll see for the next three heuristics that we had to determine the threshold experimentally using a manually generated oracle. To account for the common case of small changes to the method, Code Shovel's second heuristic looks for a method with a very similar body within the current class file. Methods can also be moved between files or the class file can be renamed. In these cases, Code Shovel applies its third heuristic, which looks for a method with an identical signature across all files changed in the commit. Finally, methods can also be changed when they are moved. To handle these complex changes, Code Shovel uses its broadest heuristic, which only considers method bodies and looks for the most similar body across all changes. In our evaluation, we found that Code Shovel was able to identify the complete histories for 90% of methods using these heuristics. Now, of course, Code Shovel isn't the only tool that's been created to track method level changes. 
we broadly classify these prior approaches into two categories. Industry-focused tools run on-demand and use text matching to trace methods across commits. Two popular tools used in industry are GitLog and IDE-based tools like those included in IntelliJ. Research-focused tools, on the other hand, generally pre-process the entire history of the project, creating ASTs for every method at each commit. And several tools have taken this approach, with the most recent being Finer Git. We see Code Shovel at the intersection of these two categories, by generating ASTs for just the files that have changed and using text-based similarity to compare bodies, Code Shovel improves state-of-the-art accuracy while remaining fast enough for on-demand use. Now, as we saw in the demo, Code Shovel is able to trace through the example method's history through its 15 changes all the way back to its introduction. We ran Code Shovel on a total of 100 methods to see for how many of them it was able to produce complete histories. To do, to do this, we had four people construct an oracle containing the histories of 100 methods from 10 open source projects. Now, making this oracle was quite a bit of manual work and in some cases required exploring extra commits and having discussions uh, to determine whether methods in earlier commits actually match the original method or not. So once we had the oracle, we found that Code Shovel was able to successfully track all of the changes to 90 out of 100 methods, giving a recall of 90%. Now, comparing with some of the related tools, we found that Code Shovel was able to find the complete histories for more of the methods in our oracle. Now, git log, for instance, fails to trace our example method once it has been moved to a different file, and overall is only able to handle a limited set of common code transformations. For our oracle, git log was able to get the complete histories for only 63 of the methods, giving it a recall of 63%. The next tool we examined was IntelliJ. It fared better on our example method, but still failed to find the commit that actually introduced the method. In this case, due to extensive changes made to the method in addition to the method being renamed. IntelliJ was able to identify the complete histories of 68% of the methods in our oracle. Finally, we look at the AST-based tool FinerGit. Now, while FinerGit was able to correctly identify the history of our example method, it was slower due to its uh, use of pre-processing. In fact, because it had to produce, process all methods and all commits, FinerGit couldn't actually process four of the 10 largest projects in our Oracle, given 15 minutes and 16 gigs of RAM. So for the remaining 60 methods FinerGit was able to process, it identified the complete history for 39 methods, giving a recall of 65%. I should mention that the recall for these approaches is conservative since we only counted complete and correct histories. However, all of the approaches were able to identify at least some of a method's history. For example, while Code Shovel only found the complete histories for 90% of methods, it was still able to find 97% of changes overall. In practice, these partial histories could still be quite valuable to developers depending on what information they need to see. So that was a quick overview of Code Shovel, a fast and robust approach for extracting method level histories. If you want to try out the demo for yourself on your own repo, the service is available at the first link. And if this talk has got you thinking about using Code Shovel in your own research, the full code, along with some excellent documentation, are available from Felix's GitHub account at the second link. In addition to the web service, you can also find command line and REST versions of the tool that can be easily incorporated into your own project and which support JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python. The repo also has our validation oracle with 100 manually verified Java method histories, and oracles for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python are coming soon. We welcome anyone to use CodeShovel and to contribute pull requests to improve it further. Thanks.